Hello and thank you for watching. In this short video, I'm going to go over the notes and the fingering for a B major scale. We are going to cover one octave. We will first do hands separately and then we will do the hands together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the solfege major scale formula above to find the notes in a B major scale. So I wanted to just mention that there is another scale that starts on this key, which on the piano is B, and it's named C flat. That's another topic for a later time. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to be dealing with B major scale. So we're gonna start with B as Do. You see on your chart above, Do to Re is a whole step, which means we're gonna be skipping this key and making a whole step like that. B to C sharp, whole step. Re to Mi, also a whole step. Now we're skipping this white key here to make that whole step. C sharp to D sharp. Mi to Fa, half step. D sharp to E. Fa to So, whole step. Skipping this white key here to make a whole step. E to F sharp. So to La, whole step. Skipping this white key. F sharp to G sharp. La to T, whole step. And finally, at the top, T to Do, half step. So this is actually a really fun scale to play because it uses all five of the black keys. And by the way, there's three scales that use all five black keys. This is one of them. And the right hand, the fingering is standard fingering. So we will have um, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. The way we lock that fingering in is by something called clumping, which feels really nice when you have all the black keys. And all that means is you're gonna play the fingers together that go in between where the thumb is crossing under. So in this case, it will be one for the thumb to start on Do, then clumping, playing at the same time, two and three, thumb comes under, plays Fa or E, then two, three, four, pinky, four, three, two, thumb, three, two. Now let's play that one at a time. Let's see, it feels really nice. Fits beautifully under the hand. Now the left hand does not have standard fingering for this scale because if it did, we would end up with a thumb here on this black key F sharp. It's not to say that the thumb can't play on black keys, but it's easier for scales if the thumb is a little bit further out. So for this scale, for the left hand, we will start on finger four. So the clumping in the left hand is going to be four, then three, two, then clump two, three, four, thumb, two, three, four. Let's just do that one more time with the left hand because the fingering feels a little bit different. This is a four plus four scale versus a three plus five. well. So this is an easier scale to put hands together because the thumbs are playing at the same time. So you're going to be doing the cross under or cross over at the same time instead of taking turns. So let's try this hands together. We're going to use rhythms to anticipate what's coming next. So the way that works is we'll play short, long. Think about what's coming next. The right hand thumb is going to come under finger three. What's next? Left hand finger four coming over. What's next? We're getting to the top. Back down. What's next? Left hand thumb under finger four. Thumbs go together. Right hand finger three crossing over. And we finish. One at a time slowly. Here we go.
Thank you for watching that short video on the notes and the fingering for a B major one octave scale. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos about piano technique. Thanks again for watching.